G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. Now today what I have here in front of me is a 112 scale RC truck or truggy and uh, this one is actually amphibious guys. Uh, so it can go on all terrain including the water. So when I saw this one on Banggood uh, and especially at the price that it is, I definitely wanted to try it out and feature it on the channel for you guys. So, so yeah, this model is actually called the Fayu FY10. And as I just mentioned, it's a 112 scale 4x4 uh, RC truck. They actually call it a uh, short course truck in the listing, but it, it definitely looks like a truggy to me. And uh, as you can see on the box. And uh, yeah, this one's going at a pretty low price of only $55 or $56 on Banggood at the moment. They've got a flash sale. I believe it says on the listing like 59 or 60% off. So. Yeah, I thought I'll try it out guys, and um, as you can see here, it's a uh, 14 plus age group. It comes with a LiPo battery, it comes with a 2S LiPo battery, full drive, it has functional shocks. Now, I had a quick look at it before, unfortunately they're not uh, oil filled, but they are friction shocks. This one also has a waterproof rating of IP68 here, so it should go really good in the water. Um, everything is waterproofed inside, which I'll show you in a moment. So. Let's uh, get into the box and uh, show you what we get with this Fayu FY10. Okay guys, I've got everything out of the box. Uh, first off, we have the user manual here. The typical uh, Fayu uh, user manuals, they're pretty good. They've got some detailed uh, photos in their descriptions and uh, exploded diagrams as well, as you can see. And the all important parts list, okay, out the back. So you have a look through that. Um, for any info that you need there. Uh, this also has the Truggy uh, spoiler, which is not connected. That's for packaging reasons, so they could fit the RC in the box. So you just have to screw them on. We have a USB charger, of course, for the uh, for the battery, which is standard stuff these days. And we've got the small bag of accessories here. So we've got the Phillips head screwdriver. Got a couple of black screws here to put the rear uh, spoiler or wing on. And we also have the uh, tire nut wrench and some body clips. Now to the transmitter, it's your basic uh, Fayu style transmitter here. This one takes three AA batteries and you basically got an on and off switch there and a steering uh, trim. And it's fully proportional of course. Got a nice foam wheel here and your throttle and reverse, okay, as well as a brake. So a uh, yeah, very simple controller. Fayu have been using these ones for quite some time now. Uh, they even were carried over to the XLF series of RCs until they updated recently. So um, yeah, pretty standard style controller. It's got about an 80 to 100 meter range, which is what they're saying on the listing. So yeah, very simple controller, but it gets the job done. Okay guys, on to the FY10 Truggy itself. As you can see, it's a 112 scale, it's pretty bouncy. Uh, these shocks, are, unfortunately, they're not uh, oil filled, even though they do look like it. Some other brands have these same shocks and they are oil filled, but on this one, they clearly are not. I have uh, actually filled uh, shocks like this up with grease and it's actually helped uh, dampen them uh, quite well. But um, if you want oil filled shocks, you're just gonna have to buy aftermarket ones, which are re relatively cheap. It's got these rather large tires, as you can see here, with like a tractor tread design on them. Uh, so they got a, a paddle to go through the water, okay? Uh, but it looks to me that um, even though these are the right way around, what I might do is uh, actually reverse them before I take them in the water. Because I think being reversed, the paddle will work, work a lot better when you're going forwards this way, you know what I mean? So I might actually uh, swap the wheels around and reverse them all and then uh, take it into the water. I think it would actually drive a bit better uh, going forwards through the water. These tires also feel like they don't have any uh, foam in them. They're just air filled, but with the aggressive tire pattern, they should go pretty good in the water and also on all terrain. As you can see, the design of this uh, truck is of a truggy style body shell here, your typical Lexan uh, shell. You can get this in two different styles. The style on the box looks a bit different. It's got more of a carbon sort of look to it with the blue uh, highlights there. Um, and when I first uh, opened up this package before making the video, I actually noticed that it's actually the same as the Sport VXL body shell of the uh, brushless 
X03 from XLF. So if you didn't like this particular look, uh, you can, you know, always buy some XLF body shells to change up the look. All right, guys, so let's have a look under the body shell. And this is the actual chassis here. As you can see, like I mentioned before, these are friction shocks. So it's going to be rather bouncy, okay, uh, if you're jumping this thing. But as I said before, I have actually opened these types of shocks up before and put uh, some grease in them, and it's helped dampen them rather well. You know, not the same as an oil-filled shock, but uh, you can uh, dampen them a little bit better. So on the front here, we have uh, some light cups on the, on the bar. We don't get any lights with this, but uh, as you can see, you can actually... Uh, fit some LEDs on these little plugs here for the two-in-one ESC combo. We have a waterproof uh, on and off button here, and I really do like the design of this chassis. Everything is all neatly covered. Everything is waterproof inside. Um, so all the electronics would have that conformal coating on them. And what I really like is this uh, design of the fine mesh, which is under all the venting. Uh, on this chassis all right guys so we've got the motor out the back here we've got the battery compartment there and your servo and esc are at the front now on the bottom of the car here we can see that we have this whole uh panel here stuck on the bottom of the chassis and along the sides here and this is actually made out of foam it's held on by six screws as you can see and this actually is rather soft and uh this will keep it floating on the water once you take it on the water. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. So here is the LiPo that comes with this RC guys. It's a 7.4 volt 2S 1600 milliamp hour LiPo. They say that you're gonna get about between 10 to 15 minutes of running time. Obviously it depends how you're gonna run it, how hard you're gonna run this RC. So there is the actual uh, compartment there for the battery. It runs a Dean's plug and here is the top hatch. You just release it with these couple of uh, levers here all right guys this rc also has metal diffs front and rear they're open center diffs we also have as you can see here metal 12 millimeter hexes and ball bearings throughout the front c hubs on this one are metal while the rear are plastic also in the specs guys they state that this truck will go around 30 kilometers an hour which seems uh believable because this does run off a 390 brushed motor so i don't think they're exaggerating their speeds with this one they did mention that is the speed that you'll get on land not in the water it's obviously going to go a bit slow in the water so uh so anyway guys that ends the uh overview on this uh fy10 what i'm going to do is put the spoiler on charge the 2s lipo up and like i mentioned before i'm going to reverse these tires in the opposite direction i think uh, having them in the opposite direction it might go a bit better uh, through the water. So we'll see. All right, guys. So uh, I'll catch you in a moment when I'm out at the field. All right, guys. So I'm down at the pond here with the Fayu FY10. Uh, as you can see, I've reversed all the uh, tyres. So the tread pattern is facing the other way. I think it's going to make it grip a bit better in the uh, dirt here on the lawn and also when I take it in the water. So let's give it a go. First time running it. As you can see, it's running on a 390 brushed motor. So it's not that quick. They do state only 30 k's an hour. But it's going all right. It's pretty quiet. Full drive, of course. Now you can see the pond down here is really dried up. See how it goes in the sand here. Those shockies are pretty bouncy, as you can see, but it's absorbing all the bumps. It's actually a bit better than I expected, actually. We got beached on that log. Okay, so let's see how it goes in this thicker stuff.
Now that mesh underneath the body shell here is going to really help any debris getting into the electronics and also when I go to take it in the water any dirt that's in the water should be uh, not able to get inside the electronics so it's a pretty good idea I like how they put the mesh on there like I showed you in the overview it's gonna stop any rocks and stones and gravel Do a quick uh, range test. Just head over there. They stayed about 80 to 100 meters. Yep, not a problem. Didn't go to 80 meters, but at least 50 there. All right. Let's take it in some water before the battery goes flat. Supposed to give you about 10 to 15 minutes that they say on the uh, listing but it is only a 1600 milliamp hour battery uh, that water's pretty murky give it a go all right there we go You can see it does sink when you give it a bit too much throttle. And you got reverse as well. There's this this pond is very uh, dirty at the moment as you can see because it's uh dry due to summer see if I can get up this end we get it up the bank give the power oh not quite Uh, not quite guys, I'm going to have to give it a helping hand. So as you can see it is waterproof. That's for sure. Pretty cool. And straight back on the dirt. Not too sure what the C rating is of this battery. I think with a higher C battery, you're going to get a bit more power out of it. Walk to the side of the pond here. Might take it on this stuff. See how it does. Getting bogged down a bit in the mud. Now it's rather dirty as you can see. So I might just go through here and give it a bit of a rinse down. <laughs> see how it goes. The cleanest part of the pond here. As you can see, it doesn't go that quick in the water. If you give it a bit too much, the, the bottom end will sink. It's pretty cool, it can drive through water. And there's a reverse.
So it's definitely waterproof. It's IP68, waterproof rating. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, thought I'll have to go and save it then, but <laughs> we ended up uh, hitting the, the actual forward gear and it came back to me. So if it tips over, just do that, guys. Oh, get out of there, that's it. So pretty cool. let go of the throttle once it starts to sink at the back. Okay. All right, go back on land now, guys, just in case the battery goes flat. While it's in the water, that wouldn't be fun at all. This water ain't exactly that clean. As you can see on the other side of the pond, especially. I like the concept. Pretty cool how you can go on water and terrain. A lot of fun. <laughs> I can see a kid really having a lot of fun with this. That's for sure. Okay guys, looks like the battery's done for. So um, let's have a look. So that's the time you can expect from the 1600 milliamp hour battery. Put the pins in there so I don't lose them. And yeah, the light is flashing on the uh, on and off switch there. So that's indicating LVC. But uh, as you can see, that's what I was talking about, the mesh, how it's kept any grit or any debris out that's a really good idea so yeah pretty pretty cool little truck actually guys i don't mind it at all um you know it done pretty well in the water it did tip over that one time but i was able to throttle forward and uh came back to me as you can see just around here but uh not a bad little uh fun 112 scale rc especially for kids i can see kids having a blast with this so yeah, this would be definitely a fun one for the kids for sure. I could see kids having a lot of fun with this one. I had a bit of fun with this one myself, you know, uh, testing this one out. So yeah, not a bad little uh, truck for the money. I mean, it's only 55 US dollars at the moment on sale. And you can go on land, on tarmac and in water. And you don't have to worry about it uh, cutting out on you. So, you know, like I said, it's got IPX 68 waterproof rating. And uh, as you can see, it went through the water fine. And, uh, you know, it was ducking down uh, if you give it too much throttle. So it was fairly underwater, especially when it tipped over. It was submerged underwater there. So, um, yeah, it didn't cut out on me at all. So, yeah, if guys, if you're interested in this one, uh, click the link below. I'll leave all the uh, details there to where you can get this one at Banggood. And um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Also, click the notification bell as well. That's very important. That way you don't, won't miss any future uploads on the channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Happy RCing. Bye for now.
There we go, clean as a whistle, ready for next time. Catch us later guys.